Hello, welcome to 1995 Batman.com. Today we are going to be doing another mystery grab bag episode number three. So we're going to look at some little uh, Batman Forever trinkets and things that don't deserve a full review but do deserve having a little look at. So first up we've got Pogs, man. Pogs. Now these are specifically Pogs from McDonald's of Canada. So it looks like, uh, yeah, I'm trying to track down all the various kind of McDonald's uh, giveaways. So obviously America had the glass mugs. I think Europe got the glass mugs as well. I know the UK didn't get them. I think we got like a cardboard Batman mask, which was on a previous episode of this. I know Australia got some pop-up cards, which I still have to get. Um, and also some little like disc things as well. Canada though, Canada, uh, Canadian uh, McDonald's gave away these pogs, 32 pogs in total. Mostly made up of just unit stills and things. Um, but there's a few that I've not really seen before that are a bit interesting. Obviously, yeah, unit still, unit still. That one of the Batmobile. I think down here. Yeah, this one of the Riddler I don't recognise. And the one of Robin as well seems like it could be, yeah. Maybe not seen that before. Uh, most of these are all the same. That one of the uh, Edward Nigma seems to be from a wardrobe test, I think. Uh, but all the others, I think, are pretty pretty standard. We've seen them all before. So yeah, that was pretty cool to find. Also, completely separately, found a whole bunch of Pog Slammers, which is great, because who needs Pogs if they don't have Pog Slammers? So I also got these little card things. So this looks completely separate um, to the McDonald's giveaway. They obviously did this, this, which was 60... Uh, Pogs, there's, yeah, like a checklist of kind of all the various kind of uh, discs you can get, how to play. If you went around in 1905, oh man, Pogs were like the hot thing for like all of about, I don't know, a few weeks. But anyway, it was very cool. Uh, basically, you stack them uh, up little uh, kind of cardboard discs and then you hit them with these uh, heavy plastic slammers. So as you can see, we've got some very cool uh, kind of shiny... Uh, one, so we've got Batman, we've got uh, the Gotham City SWAT team, which is interesting. We've got the Batman Forever logo, obviously lots of Batman Forever logos. We've got the Riddler, which is kind of cool. We've got this very, um, yeah, that looks like an LGBT uh, flag there in the background of uh, Robin. Uh, we've got another Batman Forever, we've got another Batman, and we've got a Two-Face, another Batman logo. So that was pretty cool. Next up, now, if I give you one piece of advice, please do not try and collect soap. I have learned the hard way that soap is just not something that really keeps particularly well. I picked up these two soaps from Batman Forever. Now, unfortunately, they are sealed, um, which is good because it's kept them in decent nick, but it also means the moisture is sort of like coming out of the soap and is dripping around and making it look kind of like, yeah, as you can see, yeah. Uh, if anyone has any advice on how to keep these, or how to kind of extract the moisture, or I don't know, I just, I, I'm not sure what to do. But anyway, apart from the noses, which have squished slightly, they've not, they're not too bad for kind of, you know, near 30 year old uh, soap in a box. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna try and keep them uh, somewhere nice and dry, try and dry them out a bit. I just don't know whether to put a hole in it and try and dry it out or not. But as you can see, it's a nice sculpt, kind of two-faced there kind of uh, with his arms crossed. You can see his little uh, coin in his hand there. Uh, and then Batman. I mean, they also did the Riddler and uh, Robin as well, but yeah, there's your Batman. Uh, slightly lost his nose over the years. But other than that, I think it doesn't look too bad. Uh, but I would like to keep him around for a little bit longer. So yeah, any recommendations there, please let me know. Uh, next off, now this is really taking me back to my childhood. Um, I picked these up from someone recently which is Old Sunday Mirror, uh, and I can't remember what this one, the other one is. But yeah, these are old, kind of like in newspapers in the UK. We used to have like a kids section to the newspaper. So this is, uh, this looks like the Mega Bat Mirror. So I guess this was tied into the Daily Mirror. So there at the front, you've got uh, yeah, a news story about uh, the Riddler. We're going bat mad. Uh, guy in a little bat bike. And then inside, You've got a very cool uh, poster there of uh, Batman. A little kind of chart of all the uh, stars of the movie. A little giveaway there. You can win, what, Sega Mega Drive? Yep. And stuff. And let's try and check on the back. Is there anything on the back? 
No, there's everything about Waterworld, which is obviously the other great uh, movie of 1995. Uh, and then there's this one as well, which is... I'm just trying to read... Oh, the Young Telegraph. So this is the Daily Telegraph. So again, they had like a whole bat-themed section in 1995. How to paint your face up as the Riddler. How to paint your face up as Batman. Well, paint a bat symbol on your face. Uh, kind of all the cool mugs there, which I think, you know, we've covered over the years. So what looks like some cool bookends, I think, that is, from Two-Face. Watches, kind of all these great things. A lot of which I do own now, obviously, all the figures. And, uh, yeah, the animated series, which was obviously huge at the time. Let's just have a quick look. Some bat facts as well, kids. Uh, anything else worthwhile? No, I don't think so. Right, next off, let's leave this place and go somewhere else. I also picked up this and had it framed very recently, which is the, this is the Kenner poster. Now this was folded up tiny, like about three inches uh, across, um, but like unfolded, it's almost A2. Uh, and this is kind of every figure, well not every figure, but most of the figures from the toy line. And what is absolutely great about this is this has all the uh, illustrations of all the characters and all the figures and everything alongside a very small photo. So you've got, yeah, kind of Hydroclaw Robin and stuff, uh, Batarang Batman, Transforming Bruce Wayne. Uh, it's absolutely magnificent. Obviously, I can't do anything about all these folds. I've done the best I can. I have actually scanned this. So if you do want a copy, I have scanned this. Uh, a very high resolution. I tried to get rid of some of the folds, but yeah, it's very difficult to do. In the middle here, they've done this kind of cool kind of diorama of kind of all the figures. Now, I don't know if you can spot there's one uh, that does not fit in here, and that's this one, which is an animated series uh, figure, seemingly wearing, I don't know, some bits and pieces of another Batman Forever figure. But anyway, yeah, that was a bit odd when I was scanning that. Everything else, though, very, very cool. Uh, Laser Disc Batman obviously didn't have an illustration, but yeah, absolutely love this. This is on my wall. Uh, I kind of look over it every now and then while I'm working from home. And yeah, it's absolutely brilliant, absolutely love it. Uh, and lastly, I just want to show off this, which is the Batman Forever comic book poster, which I picked up uh, quite a while ago, actually, but I've only just got it framed and put up. Um, so yeah, this is to advertise the DC Comics uh, adaptation. As you can see, some great artwork there. I think from uh, Jose, Garcia, uh, Jose Luis Garcia Lopez, uh, but I could be wrong. I know Neil Adams also did some of the style guide illustrations, a lot of them aren't credited, so it's uh, difficult to find out who did who. Um, but as you can see, yeah, I've got now a nice collection. So we start up there at the top with the uh, uh, album standee, and then we go down to the pinball, back glass, and then finally we get to, to this. Yeah, and I absolutely love it, because unlike these two, which obviously do follow all the standard uh, kind of, you know, blue and green, uh, format. This has got like a yellow and orange and it's sort of a bit all over the place. I don't know that I completely love the uh, the way the illustrations are, are laid out. This seems like a bit of a random assortment, but uh, it's something a bit interesting, something a bit different. So yeah, very happy about this one. And finally, just want to show off this t-shirt that I bought very recently, which has some absolutely stunning fan artwork of uh, Val Kilmer in the suit, you know, coming out of the fire after he's been uh, you know, blasted by uh, Two-Face uh, forever. This comes in an uh, assortment of colours. You can get it. I got mine in blue, so you know, I'm tired of wearing black T-shirts all the time, but you can get it in lots of other colours. I will put the link in the uh, description below if you do want to get this. Uh, I didn't get any commission or anything. I just think it's a cool T-shirt. Uh, that's it for now. I will see you next time, guys.